Okay, welcome to my YouTube channel, Rebel Gamer here. This is my first commentary video, and um, what better game to do it on than the classic Metal Gear Solid 2. Not just Metal Gear Solid 2, but the HD edition from the HD collection. I've got to say, after I finished the Phantom Pain, I had, uh, you know, the old Metal Gear buzz going, so I've decided to go back and play these games again. I've I actually done this Metal Gear um, when it was on the PS2. Um, obviously completely multiple times, but we're talking over 15, probably 15 years or maybe more or less. So I can't really remember much about the story. Um, if you've been browsing my channel, you can see I've been doing a ton of the VR missions. So I'm pretty used to the controls and stuff. Um, you know, so navigating and, and all that should be fine, but, but yeah, just watch this little cutscene here, I'll try and keep commentary to a minimum, I'd say, if I'm looking for something, I'll either explain it, or if I get stuck, I'll probably say a comment to myself, but other than that, I'll try and keep things to a minimum, um, don't expect any articulate, uh, eloquent, um, speaking, because that's not me, I'll say it how it is, I swear, foul language, whatever. That's just how it is, but... <laughs> Gotta love the Metal Gear music. Always has great soundtracks. Just thought I'd mention as well, um, one thing I've noticed, because I've actually done a playthrough of um, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snakey HD already, I've done that before this because I hadn't actually played that on the PS2 surprisingly, but um, what I've noticed compared to the Phantom Pain is Phantom Pain is very mature, it's very like adult content, violent, um, mature, like I said, when I go back to playing these ones they're very campy, they have this like camp, campness to them. Maybe even cartoonish, but you know, it was the tech back then. After this, I um, expect to be doing Peace Walk, because I've never played that one either. I've actually got it on the PSP, but I've never actually played it. And seeing as uh, it's on here in HD, hey, play it on here, way better. Just leave it as normal. Radar type. Radar inside. Hey, I don't think there's no uh, thing stopping me from getting achievements about it. So hey, give me that radio. Uh, radio. Give me that radar. The best it can be. <laughs> the Hudson River. Two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of Metal Gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long.
check it out. Old snake predator. I used that on the intro of the game, why don't we use it for the rest of the game? <laughs> Reminds me of Terminator, the first Terminator when he uh, arrives in the time pool. Oh boy, he's right on schedule. Hey. He'll know soon enough. Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of Philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. All right, let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9? It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting, too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. 
We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Autocar, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. Hey, these guys aren't playing around. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. AKS 740U. Russians? You sure? No Marine barber touched that head of hair. Transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. I totally don't have a clue where to go. Should 
shovel. There was a way to make them shake out items. And maybe that's just on Snake Eater. Might be wrong. Just gonna check around. etc. You good old ration. Definitely be needing that because uh, I don't plan on going through this without killing. Go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. This balls. I'd like to hear feedback as well for this video because I originally wasn't going to do any commentary but I thought I'd give it a go see how things go I just want to know if anyone um, especially on open world games I spend a lot of time looking for collectibles and stuff and if you're watching and you don't know what I'm looking for definitely want some feedback. As my first video I don't expect this to sound great or ultra professional or whatever. But just gives you um rather than just watching me run around aim. Rations already. 
Oh, good that did you? <laughs> Flies all over you. Oh, it does work. Nice, thank you very much. It's two items. Are you better than that. Following snake. Oh, look, it's the Raven. Raven? Yeah. Picture of that. Resident Evil shit there. You pick him back up. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I should have tried um, dropping him back on the floor. See if he actually had any items. <laughs> I'll be plight and I'll USB Freeze more ah. Let's have a good Definitely got gone. Didn't he? Oh. The <coughs> lowest. As this is my first time commentating on one of my playthroughs, I have to remember to speak up a bit. Just mumbling to myself. Oh, 
the, I think there was a guy underneath us. Or something. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol in the small room on the port side. Still there. Oh, that was close. I just realized that was a uh, laser wire. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Sentex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But your M9's knockout rounds won't work. Find a gun somewhere. Okay, so the... USB... They woke up pretty quick. I think I remember Otacon saying the first mission, or one of the parts of the mission, was to go to the bridge to find out where the, the boat's going. So if I head upstairs instead of down, uh,
Oh, maybe not. There's another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. Hmm. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get past those without setting off the explosives. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. I just wanted to take that guy out in case he went into the cafeteria. No gun, nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Joke. 
kick me right up the arse. Slag. God damn. Bloody cat. Nightmare, like if, when you get spotted on this game. Oh, fuck. When you get spotted on on this game, you're fucked. Plus the fuck getting spotted by the first or second. Find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <laughs> well, 
Well, by the looks of things, it doesn't look like I'm going to find that USP. Uh, I don't know if I should carry on looking for it or, or what. Just follow the story. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now! Damn your daddy, bitch. Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. Yo, check out the armpit here on that Show bitch. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. Set to move. Americans. So you ship women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Shooter in the tip of a trank. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion! Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice, either. I probably won't get lucky because I haven't got an actual gun. Find the fuck. On the battlefield, conflict and victory were my parents. Shot, eh, bitch?
tranquilize that pussy. ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out, then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emery? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marine's M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you. Hey! Dog tag, baby. Bullets, what else she got? Save this baby. You want to save Snake? Right, that's my first video done with commentary. It's part one of my playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 2 HD. One for all, all for one. What is this? Hopefully, see you back on the next part. So I came prepared. Adios. From the three.